Believe it or not, a country's future depends on its next generation. Yesterday, the Polytechnic of Namibia's examination hall transformed to a hornet's nest as it hosted the 24th annual Commerce Region Science Fair. With the help of about 14 sponsors, the science fair kicked off and young scientists from primary and secondary schools around the Commerce Region filled the hall displaying their investigative science models and projects, all competing for the nationals. This is the regional, only the Commerce Regional, every region should have their own fair and then the nationals will be held in September where the participants from every region comes in and they take part at the national fair and they compete against each other. There we see now from every part of Namibia what scientists can do. The aim of the science fair is to accomplish Vision 2030 by providing a platform for learners in the world of science to investigate and showcase their ideas or methods, saving our future environment's natural resources. Why we, we came up with this idea of sensing escalators to make escalators intermittent escalators whereby numerous sensors are installed in the front and the back plate of the escalators. Um, when someone reaches the front, front plate, and it starts accelerating, moving in a circular path and therefore uh, when they reach the back plate it stops which means we're saving more energy and since globally they have this problem of saving energy and adverts about safe energy, let's save energy for generations and generations to come this could be a start in Namibia. I chose this project because there's a lot of uh, rain this year and uh, I wondered if the cloudy weather would affect the food production in plants because I use tomato plants and I want to become a chef. So yeah, well, well that's it's, it's not completely about what I, um, I think of myself when I'm an adult. So actually, I want to be a chef and this doesn't have a lot to do with my, except the tomato part. During the preparation of the projects, some scientists experienced a little difficulties putting their projects together, but it did not stop them, as they got up and tried again, until success was achieved. It's whether chameleons change colour for um, camouflage reasons only. After I did tests, I found out that they do it for emotional reasons as well. The first tests that I did didn't really work out nicely because I um, because the chameleon kept running off the paper and material, so I tried this. I would put the chameleon in the in the fish tank, and then I would um, every time I see a result for colour, say everything of this would be green, and then I'd see if he changes colour, and then once he does change colour, I take off the piece of paper, and the next would be underneath. So I wouldn't have to disturb the chameleon too much by changing colour because every time I tried he went black. The science fair had 21 categories with the prize in each category for both primary and secondary schools. If we look at the history of this, we have created te teachers, we've created engineers, doctors, all just because of this. And the learners, they, this is the platform where they get interested, interested into, into these things. So I would really like to urge the public, especially teachers, we will have workshops, we did have workshops already to take part in this because half of us, the schools in this region, are now taking part, which is an excellent achievement for this year. But we hope for every school to take part in the years to come.